Hi, this is David in the garden again and in the Western Heritage Nature Trail. Uh, we're going to talk about the Bog Garden today. This out here at the fish pond in front of the entrance of the museum. And I'm kneeling down right now into what we call the uh, filtration of the uh, pond over here. Where it's got the fish and the, and the pretty much the clear water. And, and the way this works, if you're a, if you're a garden hobbyist or somebody wanting to put in a fountain or a pond, uh, we this has been constructed in two phases. We have one phase that keeps the fish and the water and the, and the decoration of the, of the pool right behind me. Here is the filtration unit. It's a bog garden, or some people might refer to it as a marsh, but really it's a bog. And what happens, we filter the water from the, in the larger part of the pool, and it goes by pump and it goes around over and comes in and filters out. In this, there's about two foot of three eighths inch gravel. And it's a small pea gravel looking material, but that's your filter. So all of the fish poop and all the algae and stuff that's floating in the water in the main body of the pond here is pumped through this. And this is the bog and the plants are taking all the nitrates, the uh, fermentation, the rotting down of the process of all of the uh, organic matter in the gravel. And that becomes a fertilizer, like, just like you would be doing uh, grass in, in your yard. These bog plants, this natural native water grass, and there's papyrus and there's some other plants in here. Here's some pickerel right here growing different types of plants in this bog garden. And uh, it's taking the food, it's, it's processing the water, clarifying the water, cleaning it up, and taking all of that uh, nitrogen out of it. And then it flows back over the rocks here right behind me into the water and it's recirculated. So hours this water changes in this pool next to behind me here with the pump size that we have on this. But again this is a little bit of information about the Bob Garden at the Western Heritage Museum.